All right, here we are in Nashville today. It's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance Custom Shop in my new office. Today uh, is Friday. It's the end of the uh, snow vid that kind of shut down uh, all of Nashville for the full week here. So, you know, the office is kind of closed. Last night I was here by myself and I was practicing a little bit of concealed carry. And I thought, you know, I should do a video for that because, uh, well, you have to practice to be good. And, and I want to make sure you know that I practice. And so I'll show you how I practice. You may find something useful here. You may not. But... Uh, today I'm going to be working with a G43 in uh, one of our $35 holsters, okay? Again, it's a $35 holster. It holds the gun the way it's supposed to, but the gun still comes out when you're ready. When you go to holster the gun, of course, your finger is outside of the trigger, off the trigger guard. Thumb on top of the Glock, uh, it's a really good practice because you don't want to knock it out of battery as you push the gun down. So you put your thumb on top, finger out like that. It's a good habit to be in that position. Um, the other thing I'm going to tell you about, of course, is the gun is unloaded, right? No ammo. No ammo inside. I always double check. And there's no loaded magazines on the table. There's no loaded magazines on my body. Uh, it would be difficult for me to load the gun and, and actually go bang without a lot of effort. If there are magazines sitting around that are loaded, it'd be easy to do so. Nice thing about this $35 holster is you can take it out of the gun just like that. And take it out of the pants, should I say, just like that. The whole holster slaps in there, big clip, belts on, and now it's concealed. So uh, this is something that, you know, obviously I would wear because I'm wearing it today. Um, it's chilly outside. Got the vest on. Could do it without the vest. Still concealed. Boom. But, uh, you know, the vest makes it more practical. Now, one of the things about this vest, it's uh, designed so that it's a little tight on my body. Let's get this thing straightened up and I'll show you what I mean. So it's tight around here. So I've got to be able to get to the gun. So if I don't activate this second zipper, it binds up and I really don't get a good purchase on the gun. So I work with it just like that. That's how you would sit in, when you're driving anyways, because when you sit, it kind of splits open a little bit. It's not too tight there. So the concept is to get up on the gun and get your hand there and bring the gun to the straight presentation. And, um, as we've always talked about, is we want to practice presenting the gun to the target so once it's out there, the sights are pre-aligned. It's really important. So I try to do that every time. Now, I don't have a laser involved with this gun. I'm just practicing the draw. This is a gun I'll carry. It's a Glock 43X. Ten rounds, nice and slim, easy. I'll do it a couple of different ways. I like to rack the slide. It's a bad habit, I will be honest, to rack the slide every time because if you do this lots, and I've done this before, you get out on the range, you actually shoot a shot, boom, you come down and rack the slide. Almost automatically. Not a good idea. So be aware that, you know, when you do these kind of things on a repetitive basis, you're going to develop some uh, uh, motor skills that are almost automatic. A lot of the automatic skills you want are getting to the gun and coming out fast. Now, that was okay. It wasn't super fast, but it was... Faster than most of you watching this, right? <laughs> so that said, um, I'll basically sit here in this room, pick a couple spots on the wall, and draw, bang, present the gun, boom, and then come to the other one as well. And I'm trying to do that in a muscular way, in a way that is, I'm not just coming over, I'm, I'm actually using the torso of my body, keeping the gun firm. <clears throat> and if I do this, for 10 or 15 minutes, it's kind of a workout. You know, I feel it because I want to drive the gun. And when I say drive the gun, we want to push it to the target and push it to the next target and, and push it with, with strength. So you want to be tight. You want your body to be tight. You want your hands to be tight. Practicing all the fundamentals, grip stance, sight picture, and trigger pull. Because you want to be able to engage the trigger and squeeze it and keep the sights lined up on the target. Keep the sight alignment the same as you manipulate the trigger. Because that's where most accuracy problems come in. People have problems with accuracy when they actually yank on the trigger. So we want to practice being able to activate the trigger without disturbing the sight picture. And then you want to shoot multiple shots at multiple targets same concept without disturbing the sight alignment. So, holster goes in, 
practice, 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 come up. You're gonna to wanna to try all kinds of different things. Maybe we wanna say, oh, oh, hold on a second, let me get something for you. All right? So you wanna try a whole bunch of different ways to draw. So boom, one handed. <clears throat> and I'll do that for you here. Let me get this wire out of the way. So the one handed is just basically, oh, Okay, so you always want to practice a couple of different ways. You know, this is the standard way. Boom. The one-handed. And then we'll try it from this other side here, which I actually think is actually really a, a good stance. It's just one, boom, and thrusting the gun again forward at the target. And this is pure point shooting. I'm not really looking at the sights. I'm just looking right over the sights. So I see that the sights are somewhat aligned. The gun's not pointed this way, it's somewhat aligned. But I'm realizing that it's a close target and I don't have to be too precise with the sights. So I'll do this, you know, literally several hundred times. And at the end of this, I'm a little exhausted. You know, a little, you know it's, it's, it's a workout. I want to get up and get on the target. <clears throat> and go the other way. <clears throat> So the goal is, is then take all this stuff out to the live fire range and aggressively go through the same motions. And once you do that, then you can feel very confident and comfortable carrying your gun concealed. So it's all about practice. It's all about being aware and understanding the concepts and being safe. No ammunition in the room, keeping your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot as you reholster, same concept, just like we showed you. I'm Lenny McGill, thanks for watching. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in Nashville, Tennessee today. And you know, no matter what, we will be open here soon. So this is uh, the uh, 19th of February, and we're gonna be open in March. So come down and see us. Mm -hmm.